Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 23rd to the 29th of December 2019 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Aries. So Merry Christmas. This is Christmas week. December has just flown by so nearly into the new year, new decade. So I'm just going to pull an overarching tarot card. This is called the Tarot Grand Lux by Marchetti. Okay, what do we have please for Aries? Overarching me message for Aries for the week please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. Wow, Aries, this is your energy. We have the King of Wands. This is really a card of saying you are in your element. You are just in control. This is somebody who is understanding their own power. Now the Wands energy is it is raw energy, raw power. It is that force of nature. And I feel for some of you, this is where you are just ready to go for things this week. The King of Wands is an opportunist. He doesn't sit still. He is constantly going for something, going for opportunity. Um, sitting on the edge of his seat, you know, just always a person of action. Is a big card of taking action. Take the lead in your own life now. Take action. There could be opportunity as well this week for some of you. King of Wands can also represent an opportunity that is aligned to your passions. So that can be in business and career. That could be to do with projects that you're working on, hobbies. It can also be to do with people. Whatever this is, this is a time of just owning your power. Beautiful card. So I'm just going to pull a reading card to see what the message is for you. Too many. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message Aries needs to hear for next week? Message Aries needs to hear for next week, please. Thank you. Yeah, lovely. We've got enlightenment. This is when you could be enlightened, finding answers, getting a greater perspective on situations. And this all comes from connecting to your firepower, your fire energy Aries. You know, the ones are all about potential, power, passion. And I feel for some of you, you're just in that zone. Enlightenment, getting a higher perspective. This is also a spiritual enlightenment as well where you're being guided, you see the kind of like um, halo, you're just in that place where everything is becoming clear, you're finding answers, you're getting perspective, you're seeing a way forward, you're understanding how to take action. Beautiful. Okay, and finally Aries, let's look at the angels. These are the angel answer cards. Angels, what is the message for Aries, please? Message for Aries for next week, thank you.
Thank you. Yeah. Remain positive. Now, when I see this card as well, Aries, because there's such energy in you, around you at the moment, I do feel that it is keeping that a positive approach. You know, sometimes success or failure can be determined by how we approach a situation. And I do feel for some of you, this is a time for you to remain positive because this is a time of success for you. Um, the King of Wands is a card of success. You're being given answers, you're being divinely guided, that is enlightenment. But I also feel that you're getting greater perspective on your situation as well. But you have to remain positive. This is very much a positive approach. Beautiful. Powerful cards, Aries. Okay, so this week I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I am going to use the Tarot of Dreams deck. And I'm going to clarify that with the Legacy Tarot. So all of these cards are by Marchetti. Um, the Tarot cards in particular. Okay, so as usual, we look at five cards, there's yours. <laughs> so past position Aries, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, Aries, present position. We have the Hierophant. See, you're being guided. Enlightenment here we have. This is beautiful, this is divine guidance offering you a full cup amidst all the empty cups that surround this person. You can see where, where this is going. You are being guided. Your challenge, firepower, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, beautiful. Advice from Spirit. This is Aries, the Queen of Wands. This is the card of Aries. and your outcome. High Priestess, I love this energy for you, Aries. Okay, so let's get clarifiers. Put the cards on the table. So first card, let's clarify the past position, Four of Cups for Aries. There's too many there. Let's clarify the Four of Cups for Aries, please, Angel Spirits Guides. 23rd to the 29th of December 2019. Thank you. Yeah, we have Judgment. Yeah, there's an awakening here. These two cards make perfect sense. And this is really in line with the enlightenment that we've got here, Aries. Okay, so the Hierophant is clarified by the Eight of Coins, Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands, your challenge position, Aries, is clarified by the Five of Wands. The Queen of Wands, advice from Spirit, is clarified by the Nine of Swords. I'm going to pull one more for that, Aries. Strength. And the outcome, the High Priestess Aries. This is clarified by, oh my goodness. <laughs> 
We have the King of Wands here. We've got the King of Wands here again. It's a big message for you. You're in your element. Know your power. This is your challenge. You know, Aries, the bottom of the deck, and I'm not going to put this down, but the bottom of the deck for you is the Five of Coins. Now, I will explain this. The Five of Coins is a card of lack. It is a card, like I said, this is why that Remain Positive card is here, because it, success or failure, certainly with the Five of Coins, is determined by our approach to a situation. If we vocalize our negativity, if we allow negativity to own us, whatever our situation, and I know some of you have gone through quite difficult situations from the comments I read, it just you just get more of the same. The more you feel negative, the more you vocalize your negativity. That's what you get back. Because the pentacles energy in particular is very much for me as a reader linked to the law of attraction. What you put into something is what you get back. What you put out there to the universe is what you'll get back. It is that physical manifestation, it's our conscious reality, that is the five of pentacles. It's the tangible assets, the tangible things that we need to stabilize and bring solidity to our life and success. So for some of you, you might have struggled on the financial front. You might have struggled with money and career. You may have struggled with property or understanding how to move forward in a situation. Whatever this is, this is saying that now is the time to see the bigger picture with regard to this situation and understand, ground yourself. Use the energy of the coins. Ground yourself and look at how you can practically, slowly, methodically move past what this energy is. Because it is all about half the, half the battle is our approach to a situation. And you are the warrior you are the warrior and i do feel for some of you with the king of wands here this is the warrior king you have the warrior queen here it's a big message aries of understand your own power this is not a time to let something get on top of you because i can see that with your challenge here it is a time to connect to who you truly are be the warrior this is somebody who is not defeatist but who conquers and bring success into their life. And I feel you're finding answers towards that. So, let us go into the reading. You are being enlightened. That is judgment. This is very much higher spiritual awakening for some of you. Uh, getting the higher path, getting higher experience, knowledge, awareness of your situation. This is about stepping into your light. That's what judgment asks you to do. Because whatever the Four of Cups is, this is a card of having gone through challenge and experience that may have drained you emotionally. So I'm just going to close the door, Aries, because someone's cutting their lawn. Sorry about that, Aries. Somebody just started chopping plants down or whatever using a chainsaw. So anyway, this is about very much about you stepping into your light and understanding what this Three of Cups is, because this is the Divine Nudge card. There are three empty cups here. This is somebody who has been through an emotional time. Or they're just bored now. They're just bored. This could be boredom with the careers. This could be boredom in relationships. This is just somebody who is stagnating, who is bored with life. This can also be where you've been emotionally drained with a situation. And you're being offered a cup that's full of uplifting energy, whatever this is. And now is the time to be that warrior king. Now is the time to take action. Now is the time to connect to who you really are and embrace your energy, that force of nature that is within you to move forward because this is the hand, this is the divine offering you this cup. This is the divine nudge saying, now is the time to move forward. It is not a time to be closed off and feel stagnated. It's a time to take action, to open up, to receive as well. Step into your light. Whatever this is, the judgment card, it comes at a point where any experiences that you've been through, and that could be that Four of Cups energy, that's been emotional, 
It is time to release old baggage. It is time to release old experiences, old baggage that clings to you in life. Because these people are naked, they allow it to fall away in order to step into their true light. And I feel now is that time to move forward. Now sometimes judgment can be linked with a decision as well, Aries. That could also be a factor in this take the decision or make a decision to move out of whatever is this boredom is or whatever has emotionally drained you but it's about taking action now for some of you you have action energies at the beginning and end of your reading and it's with authority it is taking the lead so I feel for some of you now is the time and this is karma this is karma it is time for you to receive it is time for you to open up to receive because you're being guided so have faith have faith that things will get better that's what you're being told we have the eight of coins here the eight of coins is the card of hard work but it is doing something that you enjoy now certainly in terms of money and career this is very good Yes, it's going to take hard work. Yes, things won't move as fast as you want them to with the Eight of Coins. But my goodness, are you building something for the future that's solid? Or you have the capability of doing that now? It is about tapping into who you are and doing something that you enjoy. Now, this is also about bringing greater value into your life. This is about the hard work will bring change. An eight is change. So, I feel for some of you, it is about having faith in yourself, very much connecting to this enlightenment that you're being given with this faith card, the Hierophant, because now is the time to really understand that you've got everything that it takes to bring positive change to your life, in terms of money, in terms of material wealth, in terms of bringing greater solidity and stability into your life, on the career front, this could be advancement in that front, this is also a card of recognition for the work that you do, being paid what you're due, for the work that you do, being valued. This can also be a change in self-esteem and self-worth as well. This is a card of Taurus. So I feel for some of you that Taurus energy is very much about stability and success. And I feel that's what some of you are working towards. The Five of Wands for me is a really distracting energy. It is not a time to be distracted. This can be where, we, where the, this can be a card of struggle, a card of strife petty arguments, um, petty disagreements, all of this kind of energy. It can be quite an immature energy as well. So whatever the situation is, Aries, it is not staying at this energy for too long. The fives are instability. The fives are bring insecurity. They unsettle you in some way. Like I said, this can be a, a distracting energy. For me as a reader, it can also be people sticking their oar in, having their say you know, interference, some of you might be experiencing that too. This can also be about competition in the workplace as well. Whatever this challenge is that you're facing, because this is a challenge, this is just about know your power. The Ace of Wands is a divinely given, generally you see a hand of the divine here offering you this wand. And this wand is electric, it is full of energy. Honestly, if you saw this on, on television, it would be buzzing because it is that force of nature, it is that firepower. It is about now is the time to understand your own power and potential. The aces are potential. It is up to you to make it happen. And this requires a lot of effort and maybe hard work. But both of these cards are saying you can bring real positive change to your life now. This is very much linked in with long-term success as well. And it is about understanding your own capabilities. When you really follow your passions, when you do something that you enjoy, when you really focus, you know, I just think this is harnessing this power. The Eight of Coins is almost kind of like a focus. It is a, a channeler almost of harnessing this raw power to really bring positive change in your life. 
Now this can be about being open to new opportunity as well. Some of you might be just switched off to be open to receive. And that could also be linking in with the kings as well because they hold the ace of wands. So I feel for some of you there could be some opportunity surrounding you as well. That is very much in line with your passions, what you really want to bring into the fold now. But you have to put in the effort, you have to harness this power. You have to work towards making this a reality. Because the divine is saying, this is all potential around you now. So don't get distracted, don't allow other people to pull you off track. Whatever this energy is, this is a time for really focusing on bringing whatever this is to fulfillment. And that is your challenge, Aries. I love this energy. So we have, I mean, I like this. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Strength card. The Five of Swords is Mars in Gemini. So Five of Swords is your energy actually being used to be destructive from within. This is somebody who is allowing their negativities, their, their fears, their doubts, their, their despair, their worries. Um, it's disrupting their routine. It could be affecting their health, their mental health in particular, how they're perceiving situations as well in their external environment. This is a real card of, of magnifying things because your internal energy is imbalanced. Your mind is imbalanced. Um, this can feel like a mini tower from within as well. And I feel for some of you, now is the time to understand your own power. I feel this is where you're giving your power, and I do feel this. Are you giving your power to other people? You know, when negativity comes in, it can distract you. It can make you feel small. That is that fives energy. Um, it can just make you feel really unstable make you question yourself, your own self-worth even. And I feel for some of you, are you letting that, are you giving power to other people? Because this is Mars, this is your power. Why are you giving credence, power, recognition to other people that are just bringing negativity in to other situations? Because now is your time to recognize your own power. And that is why strength is here. This is the card of Leo, Aries. This is know your own strength. Know your own power. This is fellow fire sign. This, the strength comes from within. And you see this person masters all the wild animals around him. You know, we've got wild animals around this person. There's no fear when you own your own strength, your own power. That's when in your external environment you are strong. And you're being told this is your challenge now, to connect to your own power. And don't give it to other people. Be who you are. Queen of Wands, this is you, male or female. This is you. I feel for some of you, there is so much potential and it is connecting to your instincts and that's why the High Priestess is here. This is primal instincts. This is that warrior spirit, that survivor who connects to their own instincts to make calculated choices, to understand how they can find expansion and growth and success in their life and bring that in. She's magnetic. She is the attractor as well. She understands how to bring success into her life by making calculated choices, but by also understanding her own weaknesses, even the weaknesses of her situation, and playing to her strengths. This is that warrior strategy, you know, the war plan, the war games. And I feel for some of you, now is the time to understand your own power, play to your own strength within and also without, to really bring success in your life, to reassert your power. Because this is very much about being who you truly are, Aries. 
you know, this again is the King of Wands. There's a Leo here. I mean, generally King of Wands can be specifically Leo, but you know, it is fire energy. So Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. It is connecting to your true self. Take charge. Know that you have the power and always had. It is when you get distracted, allow that negativity, other people, other situations to just take that power from you. But it never really disappears. This is about reasserting your own power in order to bring success and change. And I just feel reassert your power, your authority in a situation. Take the lead. Take charge. This is I am energy in order to bring who you truly are to the forefront now. Because the High Priestess is our true self, our soul self. It is very much the element that you're born with, the fire energy. You're being asked to connect to your true self now. Trust your intuition from within. Align to your intuition from within, like the Queen of Wands does, in order to bring success in your external environment, in whatever challenge you're facing now. But there, there, there is a message of focus. Really, this change comes from really focusing harnessing the power that you have and not not allowing other people to take it from you it's very much I am energy I'm feeling in this reading and you are the I am is that first house of self you know so Aries I'm going to pull a fairy card to finish off this reading but it's really powerful Really powerful energy. I feel there's a reassertion of your power. A comeback almost as well for some of you. The big comeback. From within as well. The comeback is from within. Thank you. Yeah. You know, this is about come together you see what I'm saying this is just about you reconnecting to who you are that's what I'm feeling with this energy I will read this out but I do feel this is about reconnection to who you are um, fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work working as a team helps get the job done I'm going to pull one more but I do feel this is poignant. Yeah, you see the cards, the headlines on here, the titles, what was lost is found. I feel there's a comeback here because you're getting enlightenment. And when you really have that positive energy, when you really align with who you are from within without, which is this card because this is the hermit, this is the Sun in Virgo, the Hermit card. Alignment from within, without. So that is when you make change. That is when things start to shift. Money and career in particular, this is really positive. There's opportunity here for some of you. But it starts by connecting from within. Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found, thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never realized were lost. Yeah. And I think for some of you, there's realization here with that enlightenment. Everything is becoming clear. You're getting that higher perspective because it's divinely guided. So, beautiful energy, beautiful energy. I hope you have a wonderful week, Aries. I wish you a wonderful Christmas, and I will see you next time. Thank you.